This is the all new Common Sal Clash and we're here today in these beautiful woods with a guy who's just come off the top podium winning a local enduro race. He's gonna put it to the test, but before he does, let's take a closer look. Let's start with the frame. The Clash features a sleek and durable aluminium alloy frame, which is designed to handle the most demanding riding conditions. Common Sal are known for their attention to detail when it comes to frame design, and the Clash race is no exception. The top tube is sloped to provide ample standover clearance, and the rear end is designed to be stiff and responsive for maximum power transfer. Moving on to suspension, and this bike is equipped with a RockShox Zeb Ultimate Fork with 180mm of travel, which is one of the most advanced forks on the market today. The Zeb Ultimate has a Charger 2.1 RC2 damper with low speed and high speed compression adjustment, as well as a debonair spring for a plush and responsive ride. The Zeb up front is then paired with a RockShox Super Deluxe Ultimate rear shock. The Clash Race is equipped with a SRAM GX Eagle group set, which is one of the most popular and reliable drivetrains out there. The 12 speed cassette has a massive 10 by 52 teeth range, which means you can tackle any climb or descent with confidence. The shifter and derailleur are both GX Eagle, which provides quick and precise shifting in all conditions. Braking power is crucial when you're pushing this bike to the limit, and the Hayes Dominion brakes on the Clash Race do not disappoint. With four pistons and a large 203mm rotor up front, these brakes provide plenty of stopping power and excellent modulation. The Clash rolls on spank wheels which are known for their strength and durability. The spank spike race rims have a 33mm internal width which allows you to run wider tyres for more traction and control. Speaking of tyres, the Clash Race comes with Schwalbe Big Betty and Schwalbe Magic Mary tyres which are a cracking combo. The finishing kit on this bike is also top notch. The cockpit consists of a Ride Alpha R27 bar and a Ride Alpha free ride stem, which provide a comfortable and stable platform for aggressive riding. And finally, it's got a KS Lev Integra dropper seat post, which allows you to adjust your saddle height on the fly and get into the perfect position for every type of terrain. The Clash Race is designed for riders who want a bike that can handle anything they throw at it. With its long and slack geometry, plush suspension and reliable components, this bike will help you ride faster and smoother than ever before. But don't just take our word for it, it's time we sent it down the line. You've been riding this thing all morning. How did it ride? Yeah, it was good. It performed well. It's pretty slippy in here today, but generally as a bike, it was, was good. Enjoyed riding it. Took me a while to get used to riding small wheels again. As being a racer, I prefer a full 29 or a mullet setup. And the full 27 and a half is a bit strange to go back to. It gets caught up a bit, but yeah. generally the bike is good and it performed well today. Uh, what we've been riding today is all natural trails. We've got quite a lot of steep stuff, quite tacky, a lot of janky stuff. There's no real flow to them. And the bike's been pretty good. Nice sensitivity in the rear end. It's been pretty soft and a lot of grip from it. I would say the Clash is probably perfect for someone that wants to ride bike park and have a little fun on their bike, throw the bike around a lot, jib, and just generally playful. Um, someone who wants to do the best of both worlds, wants to ride natural trails, but also have a bit of fun. Generally, the spec's pretty good on the bike. Suspension's good. A Zeb Ultimate up the front, a Super Deluxe in the rear. Hayes Dominions are great. One of the most powerful brakes in the market. And the tires that the bike are spec'd with, the Magic Mary and the Big Betty, are perfect for the conditions we're riding in today, where it's pretty wet and slippy out. They're perfect for, for out in here. You've already mentioned the 27.5 inch wheels. Would you say that's one of the cons on this bike? For me personally, but for other people, maybe not. Some people still like having a smaller wheel. Again, like I said, it's more playful. And if you want a jib or if you're just a smaller rider, you prefer a smaller wheel setup. So it can be a con or it can be a pro. Do you think this is the perfect bike for an enduro racer 
or more of an all-round trail rider, or is it somewhere in between? I would say somewhere in between. For me personally, this bike's more of a bike parky style bike with how it is and the smaller wheels and stuff, but for someone that wants to do a bit of enduro racing, a bit of trail racing, and a bit of bike park, it's perfect. Right, Chris, final question. How many marks out of 10 would you give the Common Sal Clash? I would probably give the Common Sal 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10. For me as a racer, it's not full marks because it's not the sort of setup I would want personally, but there are people out there that would love it. There you go, that's the all new Common Sal Clash. Let us know what you think of it down in the comments below.